Longest word in English. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The identity of the longest word in English depends upon the definition of what constitutes a word in the English language, as well as how length should be compared. In addition to words derived naturally from the language's roots, without any known intentional intervention, English allows new words to be formed by coinage and construction. Place names may be considered words. Technical terms may be arbitrarily long. Length may be understood in terms of orthography and number of written letters, or, less commonly, phonology and the number of phonemes. Here in the article, there appears a table. The columns are word, letters, characteristics, dispute. The first row is methionyl, threonyl, threonyl, glutaminyl, larginyl, ellipsis, isoleucine. Letters 189,819. Characteristics Chemical name of titan, the largest known protein. Dispute. Technical, not in dictionary. Disputed whether it is a word. Word. Lopado tomatro salarco gamio cranio lipsano. Ellipsis. Petragon. Letters. 183. Characteristics. Longest word coined by a major author. Considered the longest word ever to appear in literature. Dispute. Coined, not in dictionary. Ancient Greek transliteration. Word. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcanoconiosis. Letters. 45. Characteristics. Longest word in a major dictionary. Dispute. Technical. Coined to be the longest word. Word. Hippopotamonstrosis glipidaliophobia. Letters. 35. Characteristics. Non technical. Extended from hippopotamonstrosis glipidalium. Means the fear of long words. Dispute. None. Word. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Letters. 34. Characteristics. Famous for being created for the Mary Poppins film and musical. Dispute. Coined. Word. Pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism. Letters. 30. Characteristics. Longest non coined word in a major dictionary. Dispute. Technical. Word. Hippopotamonstrosis quipidalian. Letters. 30. Characteristics. Non technical. Meaning a word coined so as to be very long. Dispute. Coined. Word. Flossy Nazi nihilopilification. Letters. 29. Characteristics. Longest unchallenged non technical word. Dispute. Coined. Word. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Letters. 28. Characteristics. Longest non coined and non technical word. Dispute. None. Word. Horrificabilitude in Atlantibus. Letters. 27. Characteristics. Longest word in Shakespeare's works. Longest word in the English language featuring alternating consonants and vowels. Dispute. Latin. So ends the information in the table. Contents. 1. Major dictionaries. 2. Coinages. 2.1. Advertising coinages. 3. Constructions. 4. Technical terms. 5. Place names. 6. Scrabble. 7. Words with certain characteristics of notable length. 7.1. Typed words. 7.2. Common words in general text. 8. Humor. 9. See also. 10. References. 11. External links. Section 1. Major Dictionaries. The longest word in any of the major English language dictionaries is Pneumono Ultramicroscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, a word that refers to a lung disease contracted from the inhalation of very fine silica particles, specifically from a volcano. 
Medically, it is the same as silicosis. The word was deliberately coined to be the longest word in English, and has since been used in close approximation of its originally intended meaning, lending at least some degree of validity to its claim. The Oxford English Dictionary contains pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism, 30 letters. The longest non-technical word in major dictionaries is flossy nasi nihilopilification at 29 letters, consisting of a series of Latin words meaning nothing and defined as the act of estimating something as worthless. Its usage has been recorded as far back as 1741. Section 2. Coinages In his play Assemblywoman, Ecclesia Zeuse, the ancient Greek comedic playwright Aristophanes created a word of 183 letters, which describes a dish by stringing together its ingredients, as follows. Lopado tamako sel aka gamio cranio lipsano dreamy potre matro sufio caro bomel ito kata keki menoki lepi kosi fofako parise. Electrio noptoke falioki clopelio lagosi osireo bafi tregono trigon. Henry Carey's farce, Chronon Hoton Pologos, 1743, holds the opening line. Aldi boron ti finos coforino, where left you, Chronon Hoton Pologos? James Joyce made up nine 101 letter words in his novel Fenigan's Wake, the most famous of which is Baba Badel Gara Ganta Kamina Ron Con Bron Tona Ron Tuan Thron Throvar Vuanan Squan Tu Hu Horden and Thurnik. Appearing on the first page, it allegedly represents the symbolic thunderclap associated with the fall of Adam and Eve. As it appears nowhere else except in reference to this passage, it is generally not accepted as a real word. Sylvia Plath made mention of it in her semi autobiographical novel The Bell Jar when the protagonist was reading Fenigan's Wake. Supercalifragilistic Expialidocious, the 34-letter title of a song from the movie Mary Poppins, does appear in several dictionaries, but only as a proper noun, defined in reference to the song title. The attributed meaning is, a word that you say when you don't know what to say. The idea and invention of the word is credited to songwriters Robert and Richard Sherman. Section 2.1 Advertising coinages. In 1973, Pepsi's advertising agency, Boas Massimi Pollitt, used a 100 letter but several word term, lip smacking, first question, ace tasting, motivating, good buzzing, cool talking, high wanting, fast living, ever giving, cool fizzing, in TV and film advertising. In 1975, the 71 letter but several word advertising jingle. Two all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun was first used in the McDonald's restaurant advertisement to describe the Big Mac sandwich. Section 3. Constructions The English language permits the legitimate extension of existing words to serve new purposes by the addition of prefixes and suffixes. This is sometimes referred to as a glutative construction. This process can create arbitrarily long words. For example, the prefixes pseudo, false, spurious, and anti, against opposed to, can be added as many times as desired. A word like anti-aircraft, pertaining to the defense against aircraft, is easily extended to anti-anti-aircraft, pertaining to counteracting the defense against aircraft, a legitimate concept, and can from there be prefixed with an endless stream of antis time, creating a new level of counteraction. More familiarly, the addition of numerous greats to a relative, e.g. great-great-great-grandfather, can produce words of arbitrary length. Anti-disestablishmentarianism is the longest common example of a word formed by a glutative construction. As follows, the numbers succeeding the word refer to the number of letters in the word. Establish. Nine to set up, put in place, or institute, originally from the Latin stare, to stand. Disestablish. 12. To end the established status of a body, in particular a church, given such status by law, such as the Church of England. Disestablishment. 16. The 
the separation of church and state. Specifically, in this context, it is the political movement of the 1860s in Britain. Anti-disestablishment. 20. Opposition to disestablishment. Anti-disestablishment theory. 23. Of or pertaining to opposition to disestablishment. Anti-disestablishmentarian. 25. An opponent of disestablishment. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. 28. The movement or ideology that opposes disestablishment. Section 4. Technical Terms. A number of scientific naming schemes can be used to generate arbitrarily long words. Grammar Akanthuski Todromo Grammaris, Loricato by Calensis, is sometimes cited as the longest binobial name. It is a kind of amphipod. However, this name, proposed by B. Dibowski, was invalidated by the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature. Aquaeo salino calcalino seracho aluminoso copreo vitriolic, at 52 letters, describing the small waters at Bath, England, is attributed to Dr. Edward Struther, 1675-1737. The word is composed of the following elements. Aquaeo, equal, Latin, aquo. Salino, containing salt, Latin, salinus. Calcalino, Calcium, Latin, calx. Serracho, waxy, Latin, cera. Aluminoso, alumina, Latin. Cupreo, from copper. Vitriolic, resembling vitriol. John Horton Conway and Landon Kurt Knoll developed an open-ended system for naming powers of ten, in which one Sexmilia quintingent sexagentillion, coming from the Latin name for 6,560, is the name for 10 to the third times 6,560 plus 1, which equals 10 to the 19,683rd. Under the long number scale, it would be 10 to the six times 6,560, which equals 10 to the 39,360th. Names of chemical compounds can be extremely long if written as one word, as is sometimes done. An example of this is sodium metadiamino-peridoxy-arsenobenzo-emethyl-ensulfoxylate, an arsenic-containing drug. There are also other chemical naming systems, using numbers instead of meta, para, etc., as descriptive dividers, breaking up the name, which then no longer can be considered a single long word. The IUPAC nomenclature for organic chemical compounds is open-ended, giving rise to the 